What's up YouTube now, just doing a quick update on this £60 adapter project that I've brought, sort of bought onto myself. And I've got the adapter which you saw in my one of my last videos, and the fuse and the adapter are in really bad condition. Well I've cleaned the fuse up, and as you can see the timer ring spins, but it's in quite bad condition. Now at the top, it's got RAL, number 83I and lot number 93 now well, you could see on the video before that when the fuse was covered in mud there was a big dent around there but it turns out that the dent is actually a crack all the way around and obviously that's not not ideal but there is a little bit there where it's not cracked so that's what I've used and obviously I've drilled the pin out and now it all unscrews I still haven't finished cleaning this up, it's still not not fully clean, so don't expect anything special. You know, the threads in there aren't in too bad condition. Obviously there's a maker's mark in there of G. Not not too sure who G is. And obviously you can see through the hole because I have accidentally drilled through that little bit there. Because the, the locking pin was quite hard to get out. Anyway, moving on. This ring slots off. Now this this little spring and the um, charge does come out, but it's sort of jammed in there at the minute, so I'm not going to flick that out. And this ring actually isn't too bad apart from this section and a bit of scratch in there. But other than that, it's in pretty good condition and a bit of a dent. But other than that, it's pretty good. And then onto the timer ring. As you can see, this is. A little bit damaged, there's scratching and scrawks and dents and that bit is quite badly damaged. But it's still in reasonable condition, it still spins so it's not it's not like um, really bad. And then into the back where I have the ball and one of the pins. Now the pins I haven't managed to get to fit into this back section yet, they don't actually fit in there yet I haven't fully cleaned them out as you can see and the ball just slots in the back there as normal so there's another pin in there as well but it's, it's jammed in the bottom of the fuse I'll just put them in there to keep safe so you can see the big adapter ring comes off nicely now this is unusual, well it's not unusual but it's, it's more uncommon because it's got that bit there, normally that bit is blowing off or it doesn't have that bit or there's something else in there and the threads in there are actually really good condition inside but outside where it screws into the steel adapter this is the big problem this big dent in the threads there due, due to a heavy impact that's hit there and it strikes across the, the fuse itself so um, that made it really difficult to get apart it's also damaged the steel, um, the steel threads in the steel adapter. I haven't actually got the steel with me at the minute, so I'll have to show you that in another video, which I will do another video when I finish restoring it. But this was the main problem because it's it's really badly damaged the threads. All the other threads are average condition. There's a little bit of damage, but nothing nothing special apart from that. And then into the bottom of the fuse is this base plug, which unscrews. As seen, well, you'd never normally find these. Really, they don't normally. They're not normally still in the the fuse. They're normally gone. And um, as you can see, if you tip it up, the markings sort of match each other there with the square shape or the circle shape in this case. But they they match each other up when they're closed. Now this is my actual favourite part of the fuse. It's it's the most unusual. As I said, I haven't finished cleaning this up. That's why there's still a bit of bit of dirt there, and not cleaning properly. Also, if you look at the threads on the top there, as I've just noticed again, they are quite corroded and compressed in, but they still still work. And then into the other base plug, which quite tight in there. That unscrews freely when, once it's been undone from the, the other bit. And then 
but you, you can see how these would would match up together. Yeah. So that's that's a small base plug. The threads in there are pretty good. Now the other unusual bit in this is this washer that I've never seen in a number 83 before. It's paper thin, but it's still in good condition, which I've never seen one in the 83 before. But that doesn't mean they're uncommon. They're probably they're probably a few in there. Just, just I haven't found them. Well, there's the spring, and there's the the charge detonator and um, there's the inside of the the fuse there is actually another pin jammed in the bottom in there you can see it just in this side here I'll have to flick that out and put it all together properly sooner or later so I'll get back to you when um when I've got this all back together and when the steel work has been painted up that's pretty much it for now that's I've actually rusted away in the steel work as you can see. There's slight remains of them but there's nothing really left. 